Hi, welcome to the Cool Tech channel. In the following video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Pomoguchi to the internet. If you like our channel and would like to support us, please subscribe and press the notification icon to be notified in future videos. You might ask, why would you want to connect your Pomoguchi to the internet? This will allow your Pomoguchi to receive updates, share its stats on the grip map on the Pomoguchi project webpage, see your Pomoguchi screen on your phone, you can even upload the handshake's cap file to be cracked on the online hash crack service. So please press the notification icon as I might do a video on this in the future. So let's begin. First you need to find your phone's Bluetooth MAC address. So if you have iOS device you need to go to settings, general and about. Check your Bluetooth MAC address and write it down. If you have an Android phone you need to go to settings, about, phone, status and Bluetooth address. The same, write it down as you might need it. Next what you need to do is to enable your phone's hotspot. Go to personal hotspot in case you are in iOS and enable it. If you have Android, you need also enable the Bluetooth tethering. So that's all what you need on your phone. Now let's go into your PC. Connect your Ponoguchi to your PC. If you don't know how to do it, please check the video which I made previously for this. Check the link. After you connected your Ponoguchi to your PC and you're able to see its face in your web browser, what we need to do is to go to the plugins. In your case it will be disabled. Enable the web configuration plugin, refresh the page and it will appear as hyperlink. You will be able to press it. Excellent. Scroll a little bit down until you find the option which is called BT Tether Enabled. You need to set this to True. This is the main option that will enable your Onoguchi to connect to your phone via Bluetooth. Next we have two parts. If you have Android device you need to address these options. First of all set the main The main flag to true. Next, set this IP address to whatever you like. This will be used as your Ponoguchi's IP address that you need to enter on your phone web browser to connect to your Ponoguchi. Set it to whatever you like or leave it as default, doesn't matter. And in this field, you need to write down the MAC address which you wrote before. This is the MAC address of your phone's. Bluetooth adapter. If you have iOS device you need to address this section which is what I have. Set the main flag to true. Enter the IP address again the IP address which you want your Onoguchi to use and here write down the MAC address which we wrote before. This is all what you need to set. After we finish, go to the top of the page. Fa top of the page, sorry. Press save and restart. Let your Ponoguchi to reboot. It might take up to five minutes, and it will connect to your phone. As you can see, when I refresh, it shows BT and C. C is for connected. Now I will show you how it looks on your phone. On your phone go to your web browser and enter the IP address which you set before in the options and port number 8080. And this is the same face as your Ponoguchi showing.
This is a great way to run your Ponoguchi without a screen or if you just want to throw it in your bag and check on your phone what it's doing. It will be more con concealed and it won't be suspicious as carrying it around in your pocket or in your hand. So that's all, thank you all for joining me again. Please let us know what you think in the comment section and please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.